incredible performance with Devin Haney. But then, I mean, look at all that. The jabs, the pivots, the left, the right. Everything that Devin Haney is putting together tonight is showing that he's in a different class. Fight fans, welcome back. A New Year present is on its way as a daring duo confirmed they had made contact outside of the ring. I told you you're gonna feel some fear, right? Didn't I tell you that? Didn't I tell you you're gonna feel some fear you ain't felt? In order to initiate contact inside it in 2024. We've seen Ryan quit before. This won't be anything different. No tired tune-ups or messy marination. Two top talents striking while the iron is hot to secure yet another big money fight. It's time for a boxing's highly anticipated showdown. Here we present Devin the Dream Haney versus Ryan Super Rye Garcia. Welcome to a Motive Media presentation. Like it, I just, it was like I couldn't get to him. You know, I, I was trying and trying and trying and then just couldn't get to him. I am going to get it. <laughs> I am going to get it. You keep beating this I am going to get it. Look, okay. I am going to get it. Born a champ, born a king. I ignore the limits. Answer to the call. I want more. Right handed. Laser lethal for Devin Haney right now. Pro grade is shook. He was an absolute schooling. You know, a very good fighter. And I just look at that performance from Devin Haney. I just think to myself, I'm not sure who beats him. After dominating Regis Progre at the close of 2023, Devin Haney began setting out his next moves. I want to make the biggest, best fights happen. Uh, like I said, the, the biggest fights for the most money. Tank, 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 tank. At one point? Yeah. Stop me from saying his name. Punch me in the mouth, because I'm going to keep on saying tank, tank, tank. Don't want to fight Devin. A fiercely independent boxer who has spent years growing, learning, and improving while gently cultivating his brand, this two-weight world ruler will not be rushed. Growing up in the Mayweather gym, being around Floyd, being up under Floyd, Floyd being a mentor to me for so long, the way that I did the business, the way I was my own promoter. I watched and I was like, I want to be like him when I was a kid. I don't, my dad was in the streets. I'm like, I don't want to be like him. I want to be like him. Hurting, dropping, and controlling Rougarou for the duration, Haney looked comfortable and filled out at his new weight class. No longer straining to drain his frame into an unnatural position, Haney's wider boxing ability appears ready to flourish. You know, me and my dad have been talking about you know, going to 147 and, you know, and you know, just seeing, seeing you know, uh, how we fit there. Citing personal opportunities at 147, Haney showed he is not without choices. Devin has fought six different champions, uh, champions of former champions, and I don't see why we would break the trend now. Social media spars with the likes of Tank and Shakur Stevenson are nothing new. Evolving as much on the negotiating table as under the lights, Devin is willing to shed the villain role to become a fan favorite. Well, people love to hate me. You know, um, I don't know what it is. Does that bother you? I, no, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm, I embrace it now. Just in time for a red hot option provided by one of boxing's most explosive stars. I got a message from Oscar um, yesterday, Oscar De La Hoya, and um, I was surprised. He wished me luck. I think Haney's just a, a superb talent. He said, he's, you know, he's, he said, good luck, you know, do your thing. I think that, yeah, possibly the winner uh, uh, can, uh, can get it on with Ryan next. Well, Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. And I scrolled up. I looked at the message before. And the message said, I told him to f off. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got Bill, you got Devin, you have Ryan, you got Henry. Let's make this thing happen. So it was, it, 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 it was funny, but uh, I told him, you know, thank you, you know, him being a legend and him wishing me luck in this fight. Ryan Garcia actively instructed his team to approach Haney and get the ball rolling. Ryan messaged me like a month ago and said, I want to fight Devin Haney. I just want you to know. I'm taking that fight. A lot of these people, they're only looking at it as a business instead of sport or legacy or glory or, or really true authentic greatness. I'm the only one that is putting into action and know how to make it happen. This refreshing attitude of young talents chasing legacy has sparked a revival of interest in the affairs of the lower weight kings and their contenders. Ryan Garcia is a star and when you are a star you can fight whoever you want. You are in a way 
above titles for one day. Oh, oh. good hook, and Rodriguez goes down. Crossing weight classes to make the big fights happen, Garcia rolled the dice against Tank and came up short with no shame attached. So when I lost, it was just like, I don't give a shit. Like, I, already, I came in with a separated rib and all this stuff, and looking at it, it's like, bro, why didn't I care? That's crazy. I'm not going back down to 135 for nothing, but I will fight Tank next. If Tank wants that, uh, at 140, hey, my I told myself, against everything everybody told me. I'm a huge advocate of young fighters fighting each other, undefeated fighting so what you said, and that's what I did, so this fight is what saves boxing today. Don't do it. Don't take the rehydration out. All the things that he put on me, right? You know, whoever wins is the face of boxing, like everybody's been saying, and I truly believe that. 2017. Remember, he fought. Oh, there's a right hand that caught oh, yeah. with another right hand that Garcia with his best moments of the fight. April the 22nd, I'm going to walk you to the deep waters and I'm going to drown you. They're going to have to pick you up. I promise. Then a little later on, I mean, like a month later, it was like, oh, shit, like I did lose. Mm -hmm. that, that happened. And it kind of hit me, and I was like, I'm never going to lose again. I don't want to lose again. Yes, it's the right move. And you got to give this kid a lot of credit because he went straight from making one of the biggest fights of the year with Tank Davis and now going back to a big mega fight with Haney. Refusing to linger on the loss, Ryan returned swiftly to the ring eager to sharpen his skills under the eye of new coach Derek James. Dev said that he's going to beat the shoulder roll out of him. He better not do that shit. But again, you better listen to your corner. If Derek James tells you not to do that shit, you better not do it. While the shoulder roll experiment may have been unorthodox, the sizzling finish of Oscar Duarte was classic rye. After the fight, we said, man, I got to start listening more because exactly what you said is what happened. Any reason why you're looking around somebody? I'm just trying to see that coward in front of me, though. You know, I'm trying to address it straight up. What's his Let name? him know, Devin Haney. Hey. Stop acting. Stop acting. Stop acting. Stop acting. Stop acting. Oh, there he is. Oh, you found him? Oh, yeah, he is behind us, actually, walking by. I'm a beat I'm a beat you. I'm a beat you. I'm a beat you. Pussy. I'm a beat you. Pussy. 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 You know what I make of him? He is on high alert right now. <laughs> and what he should have did was he should have kept all that energy to himself. Competing as a professional prize fighter while being compared in some quarters to the vacuous world of YouTube personalities. Tang got his followers from kicking ass. Ryan Garcia got his followers from YouTubers. There's a difference. Is a juggling act. Garcia's attempt to bridge the gap has taken its toll. You don't know how many miles I've come around. He's not crazy like me. You don't fucking think like me. He fucking calls it corny. I fucking, I fucking believe all this. Shit. But he has proven himself to be equal to the task. Um, I'm not saying I don't think Ryan just go out there and just lay down and get washed. I think that the beef is real between those guys, and Ryan really has a lot to prove. But it's gonna be a hell of a fight, though. Ryan Garcia is not there to lay down, and you know he got he got skill as well. He got talent as well. So uh, it's gonna be a hell of a fight. While Garcia lacks the skill set of a Regis Progre, he does bring some qualities to the table that can quickly level any playing field. And it's down! Thanks to a great combination by Garcia, let his hands go! Including a nuclear left hand that has fomented his 83% KO ratio. Oh, the left hand! Sits Bob Sagan down! Blood on his back! Ryan's gonna come after him hard. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a dog fight. Yeah, everybody's excited. I mean, Haney, on the other hand, holds a 48% ratio. More measured than incendiary, Devin prefers to utilize other advantages. This dude longer than, than Tank. What? He faster than Tank. What? He got he got the footwork. He got such as his 71 inch reach, which statistically is only an inch longer than Ryan's, but morphs into a powerful range finding jab that has occupied many previous victims. Jab, just pop it right now for Haney. The dream. These 25-year-olds have trodden different pathways, with Haney fighting over double the number of rounds and being content to travel the 12-round championship distance 
on eight occasions. If he makes it through this round, he wins the fight. But here's the thing, they got history from the amateurs. Right. So it's things that Ryan may have experienced and knows from way back then. So you saw all six fights between Ryan and Devin. What did you see in those six fights? Who won all of them? Ryan's a good boxer. Ryan was a boxer, but he hit harder than Devin. We're rivals. Um, we fought five times. Beat him three times out of the five. He's a great fighter. He's really good. Um, we grew up together ever since we were eight years old. Always seen him train. I'm going to clear it up, and uh, it's three and three. No doubt. Ryan gave um, Devin Haney his first eight count out in Oxnard. No, I've never been knocked out in my life. Never been knocked out in sparring. I've never been knocked down in, in a professional fight. Never been knocked down in an amateur fight. So the harder shots were from Ryan. So if they fight in the pros, what's your prediction? Ryan stops him. What? I say eighth round. Have to. And that's the unfortunate thing about uh, all of a sudden being a superstar. You don't have time to develop. You don't have time to learn. If he's not ready for that level yet, he's not ready. He proved that he wasn't ready for Tank. He definitely is not ready for Haney. Been a lot of comparisons between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. In fact, they fought six times as amateurs. You know, they both like to fight as pros as Haney lands a good one, too. Oh, and a right hand for Haney. He can sense it here. And since switching to Eddie Reynoso, Garcia 4-0 with four knockouts and a total of nine rounds. The early rounds are Ryan's territory, and the later rounds are Haney's. Yeah, you always want to go to the to the later rounds. You know, that's when you use your experience. That's when you bring all, all the tricks out. Ooh, that one got around the gloves. To maximize his chances, Garcia will probably have to channel Jorge Linares' quick-fisted success at a point. Amazing, amazing hook, amazing power, speed, but for now, he needs to champion a lot of teams. Is he want to be a world champion? We need to change a lot of things because 140 is a lot of good boxing right now. Pro Gray later admitted that Haney was more skilled and punched harder than expected. That mother is good. He better than what I thought, not gonna lie. I'm gonna give him credit. I'm gonna give Bill credit. I'm gonna give Team Haney credit. Devin Haney better than what I thought, not gonna lie. He is. Devin's safety first approach masks an accurate, spiteful banger. He will look to keep Ryan at range behind the jab and tie up when in close to avoid the vaunted left hook. Similar to Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya didn't have much of a right hand either, but he had a vicious left hand. Luke Campbell and Tank dropped Ryan, but he shook off both falls. And each of those contests ended on the body. He could have possibly got up, but the legs refused. He said, Ryan's a quitter, right? He said, you know, watching that Tank Davis fight, he quit in that fight. And he said, once a quitter, always a quitter. And he sees him quitting again. We've seen Ryan quit before. And uh, I think that uh, this won't be any, anything different. You know, once you have that quit in you, um, you know, it's installed in you. You know how to do it. I think I think he'll quit on April the 20th. I mean, he, he got hit right in the body. And... Yeah, a lot of guys won't get up from that. So you don't think he was looking for a way out at that point? I don't, I don't think so. Only, Ryan, I'm not in his body. You're not in his body. Nobody out there is in the body. So it's between him and God, um, as some people might say. For weeks, he has been insulted by Duarte, called a clown and a quitter. And I think he made a mistake in choosing me, and it's going to be a great fight. Been told in Mexico he was known as Queen Ryan, and no one there respects him. What they want, everyone can have their own opinion, but they're fans, but come tomorrow, everyone's going to know who Oscar Duarte is. For Ryan Garcia, this fight is about making a statement. As he told me this week, I'm going to remind people just how badass I am. Flat to be able to land something big. Hey, Chris. Oh, no. With Ryan's speed and single punch power, the margin for error is slim. We've seen from Garcia before, one punch is all it takes. If Haney ships a clean shot and is buzzed, his octopus hold will be required in full effect. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Haney perhaps on wounded knees. After ditching Joe Goosen, Flash Garcia must find similar corner consistency to Devin's relationship with father and trainer Bill. Hey, how you doing? Well, how you doing? You got me right now? Hey, he in trouble. 
be in trouble. There is no shortage of possibilities for the winner as Teofimo, Tank, and Shakur lie in wait. Ryan, he's been boxing his whole life, so he got the same style that he had since a little kid. Nothing different. I don't see nothing different. Roly Romero and the beastly subreal Matias also hold interest. He's a beast. He's so excited. But you have to show the world more of him. Because then when he fights Teofimo, Haney, Tank, he's going to get what he deserves. For Ryan, here lies a chance to prove that he remains a bona fide A side star and not just a money spinning B side footnote in other fighters' stories. All these fighters, a lot of these young fighters say they want the smoke, and you just don't know if it's true or not. Ryan's proof that he wants the smoke. For Haney, cashing checks and breaking bubbles are all part of his makeup. Traveling into the lion's den, defying countless critics, has become second nature. Legacy is on the lips of boxing's new breed and taking tough fights over social media likes is a tantalizing trend for fight fans in 2024. Yeah, because this is what you want in the sport of boxing. Two young bucks in their prime going at it for the world title. He says, hey, I've got a chip on my shoulder. I can beat Ryan Garcia, and then I'll be the one to beat Tank Davis.